People who worship here say it is heartbreaking to see this happen. Chicago police at this time are not classifying the incident as a hate crime, but Islamic Center leaders believe it was, and they say they won't tolerate it. A security camera in the lobby of the downtown Islamic Center captured images of the man police are seeking. He went uh, and got an object and then smashed the glass and he was saying statements like Muslims should die. It happened at about eight last night as members arrived for prayer at the mosque at State and Jackson. They say the man started harassing and threatening them. He attempted to kick in the door, then threw an object, shattering the glass before running away. And thinking about everything that's been happening these past few months, and thinking about the murder of Wadia, um, and just thinking about how much hatred has been fueled towards Islams and Muslims recently. I'm a Muslim myself, and I'm also a Palestinian, so I feel uneasy these past few months. Worshippers this morning found the glass had been cleaned up and the door had been replaced. Muslims are currently observing Ramadan, a month of prayer, reflection and fasting from dawn to sunset to show empathy for those less fortunate. Since the uh, Israeli, uh, Israel and Hamas uh, conflict has been going on, there's been a spike in Islamophobia and hate crimes. That We have to be vigilant and we have to ensure that uh, Muslim Americans and all people of all faiths feel safe coming to their houses of worship, especially in like their holy month. There are multiple security cameras on buildings in this area, which may have also captured images of the suspect. This morning, the Council on American Islamic Relations issued a statement calling on law enforcement to investigate this as a possible hate crime and to step up security. In the loop, Judy Wang, WGN News.